Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you for the invite, Drunk Sports. Thank you so much for inviting me to the show. No doubt. Appreciate it, man. Kind of need each other because yes, what? Because yo, that brings us to my last thing. Craw the Crawford Arrow don't look like I don't know. I don't know. See, I, don't, I wish I could get a look at that contract because now Terrence is talking about fighting Tim Zhu, which I like that fight. I'm not mad at that. Um, I don't know if he's contractually obligated. I know he seems a little pissed off with all the excuses. We went through this last week with the excuses. Now another excuse popped up that his rib is broken and all that. It very well could be. I'm not shitting on Arrow. Um. What do you know? I mean, you hear anything about that? Is, are they contractually still obligated, or can he go ahead and try to fight Zoo? You also hearing about Virgil Ortiz calling Zoo out. What do you think? Again, the most clandestine organization <laughs> we're supposed to know or have access to the contracts, but surely somebody right. that 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 knows everything will report on it. But just with common sense, which isn't common, tells me. They signed him to at least a two, three fight deal. Let's just say two fights. They said, yo, it's the first fight in the rematch. But but realistically, you know it had to be a three fight deal. They said the rematch and then we'll keep you for one more. So talking about Bud. Huh? Talking about no, Bud? Remember, no, I was talking about, remember Errol and them was pushing for three fights and he was really trying to force Terrence into that because Terrence crazy. only wanted the one and then a so possible second. So let's just say it's the two, right? Let's just say it's two fights. Mm -hmm. He's obligated for one fight. Mm -hmm. Like all things, they got to offer you something before they are in breach or before the contract is void. Yeah. So yeah. whether it's Tim Zhu <laughs> or fucking Tim Tebow, they're going to try to give him somebody because, yo, we, 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 we got it on paper. Now, they would be fine because, remember, they got him on contract – for this rematch for X amount of dollars, but but I'm sure there was a clause in it that said if it doesn't happen, then we gotta give you a market rate fight or a fight worth your a market fight. rate or whatever the fucking language yeah, that yeah, is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever they have. So 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 let's go back to this thing. For whatever PBC is doing, yeah, it's gotta be a fight that could be um uh Tim Zhu and 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 uh, uh Bud Crawford possibly from australia bringing an that international audience yeah then maybe you can stick the caleb plant jamel charlo on that one but you can't right. really separate those two because is that a big pay-per-view though terrence never was a big and i love terrence but he was never a super draw though let's be honest the arrow was a good dance partner but can he draw by himself you think you is, well that's you know. because, yeah like, that's their model that there is no Everything is based on pay per view with them. There's no, like I said, there's no budget, right? So you got to think a little bit about what the pay per view, right? I don't, I, I, I could be wrong. So yeah, I, I Spence, don't know. Spence mm. is out. So he's out. Ter yeah, Terrence moved on from him, and according to Bernie the boxer, their ne the negotiating is what's happening. So if if Bernie says it. Bernie Boxer, I believe if Bernie says it, I I can lean more into it. And what makes more sense than uh, uh, Crawford hopping up a division, challenging for the 154 belt, which is with <clears throat> a lot of people don't understand. If you're a champion at another weight and you're challenging, a, you can you can get the title. Uh, uh, you can get the. Uh, uh, the championship fight because you're challenging another champion. They allow that to happen. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. part of the belt you process. Line, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that let it go down. Um, it's a good test for Zoo. Australia is going to back you. You know, all of Australia, the money's going to be good over there. That's no Euros. Doubt. Um, plus Crawford's going to bring his crowd after taking them from Errol a bit. Um, that's good money right there, and. Mm -hmm. It's it for 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 um for um uh Crawford who wants to fight with Canelo and Canelo's thinking about that of course before Benavides or anybody in his own weight division. Um, it would make sense if he beats a Tim Zhu to do so. Mm -hmm. That's the only fight at fifty four I, I could see, man, because for big money, that's what he's looking for. He said it. He said I'm looking for big money fight because he's what thirty six. 
He about to he about to bow out. Yeah, so we like we watching the end of a great, and he probably be at the Royal Mall this weekend. I should go up there. And then maybe uh, maybe the Canelo if he could get the Canelo fight right because because where the smoke there's fire. You hearing? Him? I don't know if it could happen, but they might both say, you know what? We both retire. We both get you know two hundred million almost on some Mayweather Pacquiao shit, right? And then they go out right to the sunset. I, you know, I don't know. Only reason why I think PBC wouldn't allow that is because, like, if you said, if pay-per-views is their metric, which, by the way, it's like a motherfucker still trying to sell you a CD, but go ahead. Yeah, fact. Pay-per-views <laughs> is their metric. Um, you got to split it up. Yeah. You got to have Canelo on a card that can generate what it's going to generate, kind of get a little bit of an excess, a surplus, so then you can let that trickle down over the guys that are not going to generate that type of attention. And that's why I'm saying you kind of got to put a Bud Crawford you know, international, you know, situation. Then you put, um, you know, some domestic shit on there. Hell, even tease people and put boots on that card. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a, that's a, yeah, so yeah. Or bring it to the chic. Talk, yo. Um, because you, you, you also have to build boots up for when Crawford's gone. Yeah. Because you don't know what's going to happen unless yeah. Boots, like I said, I got a strong feeling Boots ends up at Matchroom. Bozy is already doing business over there for Andy yeah. Cruz. And yeah. Eddie Hearn is a slick yeah. talking. Let me tell yeah. you something. Let me say this before we close out. And yeah. I know we're not moving yeah. that direction. It's different in the UK. Cash yeah. was talking earlier about the fights that happened during the day. Well, let me explain yeah. something to you. From my understanding, in the UK, they, they ended the institution of slavery 114 years earlier than they did in the United States. Mm -hmm. That means they was able to retain a little bit of soul. That's how come white motherfuckers in the UK can sing. <laughs> I say that to say Eddie Hearn is a slick talking, singing ass white motherfucker. He is. <laughs> He's going to do whatever it takes to make Bozy and them comfortable and bring Boots on over there because I, I think Boots and them is lingering around too long. They are waiting for, yeah. you know, Bud and see big what fight. can do. That shit ain't happening That's over there. Not happening. Going over there, let, let, let Eddie sing. Ain't no sunshine when tanks mm -hmm. go. <laughs> let that nigga sing, man. That nigga got songs, man. Go to a karaoke. Don't you know Eddie Hearn be taking out Derek Chisora and Connor Ben on fucking karaokes and shit? Yeah. Man. yeah. Yo. Yeah. That's real talk. Joshua's like his best friend.